everybody. So today, it, uh, I was asked by him to uh, critique his roster. So we're going to critique the roster of Demon Overseer. And this was created in April 2012. So it might be updated by the time you watch this. I mean, it's going to go up today, but it, it's possibly updated whenever you're watching this. So just keep track. Okay, so... The new Wario rep is Bowser Jr., which is good. Bowser Jr.'s been in a lot of the recent games ever since Sunshine. And the new Donkey Kong character is K. Rule. And yeah, he's the main antagonist, so he should be in. Um, then Link from Skyward Sword. I mean, Link was already in, but he looks like he does in Skyward Sword. Um, you still have Sheik, and the new Zelda rep is Impa. I kind of think they're too similar, and at this point, The Legend of Zelda has the Triforce, and they, they might need another antagonist. I'd say probably... Vati or Skull Kid, but they really don't need Impa. Impa's kind of just like Zelda's bodyguard. And Sheik already fulfills that role of a ninja, a Shika. Yeah. Um, the new Metroid rep is Ridley. I think that's Ridley. It's green, but I'm guessing it's Ridley because of the open mouth fireball thing. Uh, I really don't know how I'm organizing my reading of this. Um, there's no new Kirby rep, which isn't really necessary. You could have Bandana D, but it's really not necessary. Um, back at the top, Fire Emblem. The new rep is Mikaya, which is good. She doesn't fight using sword and melee weapons. She uses magic, which is really a unique trait for a fighter in this game to have. Um, then Fox and Falco just look out of place. I mean, they, they just, their coloring scheme just looks odd. Um, Wario's from the WarioWare games. He looks like that Wario game. Captain Falcon has, he, he always, in every Smash game so far, he's had like a different texture than when he appears in his own games. I'm guessing you're probably just using these pictures because these are the pictures you found. Samurai Goro is a good new F-Zero rep because he's Samurai Goro is Captain Falcon's only rival, really. I mean, the other racers, but his main rival is Samurai Goro. Um, Ray from Custom Robo. Yeah, he's okay doesn't really need to, Custom Robo doesn't need a rep, but it's a good new series to get started getting characters in. I mean, I wouldn't expect them to have another character for probably until like SSB 6 or something, but <laughs> it's a good series to get a character in, I'd say. Um, the new um, Earthbound or Mother rep is Klaus 3, the main villain from, yeah, the main villain from Mother 3, or a main villain. Uh, he's also Lucas's brother, so that would be interesting, and he has, yeah, or the Mask Man, he could be called. Um, yeah, he's definitely a good antagonist, and, mm-hmm. It wouldn't be really a boss in story mode, so it would be good to just add him as a character. Um, then Isaac or Matthew. I'll just call him Isaac. I can't really tell which one it is. But Isaac from Golden Sun. That's good. Golden Sun, Miss Lioness deserves a rep. And uh, Saki. I'm pretty sure that's her name. Her last name, I can't remember, but... 
He fights with uh, guns and stuff from Sin and Punishment. Yeah, Sin and Punishment. So, pretty violent. But still, she's a good rep. Then uh, Little Mac, and he's a boxer, so that would definitely be fitting for this game from Punch Out. Sukapon, Joy Mech Fight. That was a long time ago. But, Sukapon is good. He's, he's also from a fighting game, so he's a robot. That would be interesting. Him being technically bodiless, kind of, would also be an odd mechanic. He's kind of like Rayman. Um, I gotta do third party and Pokemon. So, Pokemon still has the Pokemon trainer and Pikachu, and there's no Lucario to be seen. Instead, you added Blaziken and Zoroark. Well, I don't really feel like Blaziken is necessary because you already have Charizard and Zoroark would be. Not moves, but like height and size similar to him with the big hairdo and the human stance. So I think Blaziken's really not necessary. Uh, so I'm pretty sure the only thing I don't really like in this roster is Blaziken and Impa. Because those two things really aren't necessary. Just they're like, there's better choices. To fit their roles. And then over on the third parties you have Gino representing Mario again, but also Square Enix. And Mega Man representing Capcom. He's definitely their biggest mascot. I'm not sure if Gino would be their biggest mascot, but with Nintendo and he's been in a Mario game, he's probably the best with Nintendo. He's definitely probably not Square Enix's biggest mascot. So, yeah, that just about wraps this up. I'll give this a 9 because it's pretty good. Except for those two kind of out-of-place choices. Bye, guys.